Hey everybody, Rob Vino, wagertalk.com, Wager Talk TV here with your NFL free play selection and analysis for today. We're going to take a look at the Arizona at Miami game. I think it provides us a little angle here, so it's going to be your free play selection with analysis for today. But first, let me go ahead and give you what's going on at wagertalk.com this week's special, the most action-packed action month, say that five times fast, of the year is November. Obviously, sports overlapping like crazy. We've got NFL, college football, NBA, college basketball, NHL, Canadian Football League still going at this point. I handicapped that as well. Paying for these individual sports, you'd pay $149 to $179 for a monthly package, but at Wager Talk right now, you can get every sport, every day, every play, all combined into one package. Like I say, it's the most action-packed month of the season. You'll find action every day through November. You can get it all for just $249. Everything I release here at Wager Talk come to you immediately. Once again, all five sports plus the CFL, just $249. Pick it up over at wagertalk.com. Let's take a look here at the Arizona-Miami contest. Goes on Sunday, an early card spot here, 1 o'clock. And the I'm going to go with a little contrarian play here where we see some line movement in the total from 49 or 48 and a half, all the way down to 46 at this point. But the team strengths, the personnel matchups, I think they create some advantages here to go ahead and take advantage of this 46 number. Miami, they're slow and incremental return to full offensive health. Looks like it'll be capped off this week. You know, the running backs have been hurt. At times, the receivers were hurt. Tua obvious, obviously has been hurt. He's returned to practice in full um, this week. They look like it looks like Tua will go in this game. Little question about timing and rhythm with him taking so or having so much time off due to injury. Wide receiver Tyree Kill commented on that and said the timing and rapport. The second two a step back on the practice field was immediately a click type situation. Um, everything worked out well. Tyree and going a little overboard saying we should score on every possession this week. But you get the idea. The quarterback seems to have not missed a beat as far as practice is concerned. Looks like Jalen Waddle, the only question mark left in this explosive skill position group, and he's likely to go here. Mike McDaniel's play calling will open up. Remember, he's only been able to use a little bit of that playbook with the backup quarterback situation that they've had. I think all in all, it may not bring back the explosive Miami Dolphins, the 70-point Miami Dolphins from last year's Denver game, but Miami should see an upgrade in point production. And Arizona's defense can be a little bit helpful here as well. They've given up 34, 23, and 34 in their three road games so far this year. Those were against Buffalo, San Francisco, and Green Bay. So a combination of 91 points allowed, 30 per game on the road by the Arizona defense this year. And that pass defense was even lit up for 336 yards last week by the L.A. Chargers. Dismal passing attack. L.A., even after that game, only averages 187 passing yards per game. They got 336 against Arizona. If I look at the Miami defense real quick here, close examination shows that their defense has benefited the last three games from facing low-level quarterback play. Tennessee, they got the combo of backup Mason Rudolph and Will Levis, who ranks 32nd in quarterback rating. They got New England's Drake May in his first career start. They got Indianapolis's Anthony Richardson back off injury and ranking 33 in quarterback rating, even lower than Will Levis. So they haven't faced good quarterbacking. The Cardinals here with dual threat Kyler Murray, he ranks 12th in quarterback rating. I think Kyler Murray is going to pose some problems for that Dolphin defense. Um, Cardinals three road games this season. I talked about how many points they allowed. Let's just talk about how many total points were scored in those three games. 62, 47, and 47. Those numbers all important here because they exceed the asking price here for the full game total. The number, as I mentioned earlier, pushed all the way down to 46, leaves that key number, significant key number of 47 wide open for cash and tickets. I think in this game, both teams find enough offensive rhythm to get themselves to 47 and cash this over 46 ticket on the way out. I'd like to ask everybody, if you like these selections and analysis provided here on Wager Talk TV, go ahead and hit the like button. Let us know. 
what you like in this Cardinal Dolphins game. Drop us a comment. I try to get to them as fast as I can. Any other game you like this weekend, go ahead and post it. We'll give you a response. Click subscribe. Join the 181,000 people that already have joined Wager Talk TV. For now, this is Rob Vino saying good luck with all your plays this weekend, and we'll see you next time on Wager Talk TV.